back garden. The bail back garden. Uh, you've not seen this since lockdown. It's not changed much because it's astroturf and by jingle that is handy stuff. Excuse my hair. I've had a hat on. But anyway, let's talk about what happened last week at the golf club. We had championship day and by jingle, the scoring wasn't great. No disrespect to all your players out there. It was tough. The leading, the first round leader was Kenny Gallagher and Greg Andrews, 72. And there was also a little surprise in there um, with Craig McMahon. He was 73. Not thought of as a contender until the second round where he shot 70. Four. Yeah, 74. So he was actually leading with the last group to come in. And the last group consisted of Kieran McMicker, Kenny Gallagher and Greg Andrews. So Craig had to hang about for a bit, but he, it was exciting. He was the fairy tale story, the fairy tale story. Uh, and it was very sad, but he didn't quite make it. Uh, Kieran McVicker came in. Uh, and won it by a shot from Kenny Gallagher and I think it was Greg Andrews. I can't remember because the festivities afterwards. But anyway, it's really nice for Kieran to to win uh, this year. He's been a contender for so many years. No disrespect to Kenny. Uh, Kenny's always a popular winner. Uh, but Kieran has done a heck of a lot for the golf club this year. You might not be aware of it, but... He took on the team manager's uh, role after the they get demoted into uh, a division below of what they were last time. I think it was just into the second division or third. Anyway, well, what he did was he captained them to winning the league and taking them back up, which was amazing. And he also sorted out uniforms for them and he's just a damn, damn good fellow. So well done to Kieran winning his first championship. Um, amazing and well done for what you do for the golf club. Very sincerely. Now, Kieran used to work for me uh, when I first started at East Kilbride Golf Club. And let's just say he's a better golfer than he was uh, as shop assistant. Uh, he loves sitting in a chair and faffing about on Facebook. I don't think that's changed much, but he's grown into be a wonderful young man. So Kieran... From in there, well done, son. Well done. And the after the after entertainment, the after entertainment by our own John McQuiston, just John. I was a bit dubious about it. I was thinking to myself, is John going to be that good? But he was amazing. He was brilliant. I just wish more of you actually turned up to the event because, yeah, it was a bit disappointing the the number of people that turned up. Um, maybe we could organise it better. I don't know, but. Uh, I certainly stayed, I would go to the opening of my eyelids, um, so I stayed and jumped about and had some fun, had some tequilas with uh, Nori Agnew, he got me a double tequila at one stage, um, and yeah, it was a thoroughly good night, but well done John McQuiston for having such a wonderful beard, a great singing voice and the talent to play uh, tons of instruments, so well done. Now. What are we going to talk about next? Well, I'm going to talk more about shafts too. Now, we're talking about striking and the club face and stuff like that, but the shaft does play a part in that. What the shaft does is it'll bend a couple of ways. It'll bend this way, so the toe will move down, and it'll also deflect, so the head will go that way and the shaft would stay there. So that's deflection. Now, depending on how you swing the golf club, some shafts will actually make you hit it in a poorer place. So if you get too much shaft deflection, the shaft moving, or the club head, I should say, moving this way when the shaft stays there, that can lead to hitting shots low out of the face. And we know what hitting low out of the face does, don't we? It's low launching and high spin, which isn't very very good for a driver, for example. So, having the right shaft does matter. Uh, the club head still is the, the winner in the race, as far as I'm concerned, but the shaft does matter. So, 
sorry about uh, doing this from the back garden. You'll probably hear my neighbours uh, making some noise, but we've had a very busy week here, and I had some sad news about my dog, my mum's dog, Darcy. My, the, the dog you would see kicking about the pro shop a few years ago. Sadly, Darcy's not been great, and ah, she's not been great. So. This one is dedicated to Darcy, my lovely dog, and Kieran, who's not a dog, but has done a wonderful, wonderful thing for the golf club this year, and he's been rewarded with the championship. He is the leader of the pack, the creme de la creme, the egg and the bacon, the smoke ripping, I have no idea what I'm saying, but anyway, well done, Kieran. So, slightly shorter newsletter this week, but I've had lots of fun. Doing it as usual, creeping about my back garden. No doubt somebody's thinking I've lost my mind talking to myself in my garden. But anyway, bye bye and see you next week.